What's up guys, Sony just released a new camera and Audio Technica released a new microphone. Let's get into it. Sony just released a new APS-C camera geared towards content creators. It is called the Sony ZV-E10. I feel like the ZV-E series or whatever it's going to be called is going to be the new 8000 series replacement because they're gearing it towards more of that compact on the creator kind of camera so the zve 10 is gonna be arriving in the near future they just announced it and it has an aps-c sensor it has a built-in three capsule microphone with a windsock and it has a flip out screen just like the flip out screens that canon has had for a few years now i feel like if you're within the sony ecosystem if you've had a sony a thousand series camera for the past few years and you're looking to upgrade the sony zve 10 is going to be a good upgrade from the a thousand series because it still uses the same batteries from the a5100 a6000 series it's good for streamers because it has an hdmi out and it still uses the same battery so you can get dummy batteries which are readily available for all of the cameras that use that battery and then it has a flip out screen which some of the older a thousand series cameras do not have and also if you if you're the kind of person that wants to use an external microphone you can still do that with that with this camera it has a headphone out and a microphone in it has a dedicated built-in three capsule microphone that you can use and it comes with a supplied windscreen so that's going to be a great thing for content creators that want to slim down their camera for travel and stuff like that if you're looking to upgrade or you're looking into getting a camera for vlogging content creation for streaming as well it is a good camera for you to look into and see if you can afford moving on to audio technica they released a new microphone it's the audio technica 80 2040 i feel like they are pricing this competitively towards the rode pod mic and uh, 100 dollar microphones that are coming out right now uh, it is a dynamic hyper cardioid microphone it looks like some of their higher end broadcast microphones and i feel like it's gonna be one of those microphones to look forward to, to look towards to when you're gonna be upgrading from a lower end uh, USB microphone or a lower end XLR microphone. It is an XLR microphone. It is a dynamic microphone, so it's not going to be using phantom power. Compared to the pod mic and other $100 microphones that you can get, AT2040 just has this premium look that is very unique to audio technica so i feel like it's gonna be one of those uh wow factors when you're when people see it on your stream so yeah are you guys excited for the zve 10 camera or the at 2040 i am actually very excited for the at 2040 i feel like i'm gonna be upgrading to that after this microphone which is a sure pga 48 and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the gear news and uh, i don't know if you guys want to see more of these like short videos